We're just going to show a correlation between actually practicing an approach like this in the simulator versus what it's like in the airplane. John has actually already done this in 2-3 uniform, uh, this exact approach. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, from the instructor station, is, is uh, I've set him up on about a 15 mile final, um, which will be good for an initial approach fix to the RNAV runway 22 Zulu. We're going to do an LPV. Um, and then I'm going to set up the weather for him. So I'm going to go into my preset weather and select IFR and uh, get them all set up there. So we kind of socked them in here. Of course, when we descend below those clouds, it'll, it'll be in the soup as it were. So that's all I'm going to do from this end. John, you can go ahead and start to set up your approach within the G1000. So here we got Papa Alpha Hotel. Oscar, okay. PAHO Homer. Uh, so we RNAV 22 Zulu LPV. Okay. Uh, and we're picking up our initial approach fix at Kutna. Great, works for me. And uh, our final approach fix is I high sec. Uh, Hicksack, yep. Hicksack. And so we're going to go ahead, we're going to activate that. Great. Kutna's coming up. So we've got the uh, approach in here, we've got the iPad over here with Foreflight. We've got our plate as well right here, ready to go. And we can see Kutna right there, Jomu and HiSec. You can see 4,000 at Kutna, 2,700 at Jomu. And at HiSec, we need to be at 2,500 feet. So John, I'm gonna hit the, the pause button for a second. So it looks like we're 4,800 feet. So we're a bit high before Kutna, but that'll work out perfect. We'll be able to adjust ourselves. As you can see on the iPad, we are um, set up for that final and yeah so we'll just uh, monitor things as we go down one thing that's worth setting that we would set earlier uh, before this approach like actually started would be the the minimums so at the bottom of the G1000 there if you see where it says timer reference so click that and then uh, scroll down the minimums at the bottom there you go and then just uh, correlate those with what you have on your chart for the LPV, 386, so do the higher number, do like three, uh, 390. 390. Which puts me 300 feet AGL. Yep. All right, and then uh, missed approach is gonna be straight ahead to, what's the waypoint there on your profile view? Missed a plick. Yeah, so straight ahead climbing 2600 to plick if we don't see the runway. Um, what we'll plan on doing is following that localizer, if you will, and that glide slope. That's kind of how it's acting. It's acting like a, a GPS-based ILS, so we'll get more sensitive the closer you get to the runway. And yeah, do you want to use autopilot or anything, or just do hand-flown? What would you like to do? I'm going to do hand-fly here. Okay. Uh, I am going to back up with four-flight profile view as okay. well, uh, if it doesn't get too cluttered. Yep. So, in case I were to lose anything. Here on the approach, I've got a nice backup here. Great, all right, so Good. I'm gonna hit uh, the pause button. Great. And here we go. Now, even though you are hand flying, one thing that's gonna be really helpful is to set your altitude reminders. So the that minimum altitude initially is 4,000. And for the camera, uh, feel free to verbalize what you're thinking, what yeah, you're absolutely. looking at. Yeah, so what I'm looking at here is I'm looking at my vertical speed, making sure that's not getting too I call it kind of out of control. I'm actually going to bring up that FPL here on the PFD to see my distance. That's a good to idea. Cutna. I actually really like that versus taking my eyes good. all the way to I over like here and looking in this column. I'm really staying focused good. on the PFD. And as you can see there, one thing I did is I actually went through 4,000 at Cutna. We're now at Kutna, so we're now going to continue our descent down to, uh, should be about 2,700, I think it was. Yeah, yep. 2,700 at Jilmu. So uh, what I want to look at here is I want to look at how I'm maintaining here mm -hmm. with the localizer, or not really with the localizer because I'm not on an ILS, but really more so with the RNAV approach. Uh, so I'm 4.2 out from Jilmu. Uh, I want to make sure my speed doesn't get too slow. And I want to make sure I'm continuing to keep it coming down at a gradual rate. Yep. So here so we you'll go. shoot for maybe maybe 500 feet per minute, right? Yeah. And I'd set a power setting of about 
I'm just gonna guess 1800 and that might give us about 90 or 100 coming down yeah. and keep that vertical speed under control because we'll come up to uh, uh, Jolmu real quick that altitude at Jolmu which is 2700 and if you'll reset your altitude as well that next step down yeah now you do have your vertical track already so technically you can follow that but we'll just ride this down to the final approach fix and build those habits in. It's got it kind of locked in there at a 550 foot per minute descent. Okay. Coming down to Jolmu, so we're 2.5 out of Jolmu. Cool, I like that power setting, giving left. us 90. Seems smooth, we got about 150 to go. Down to Jolmu, about a little over 90 knots. You can go a little bit to the left. There you go, just a to bump. To keep us on track. And I really feel like some of these movements should almost be just about rudder at this point. Right. Want to really pay attention to that altitude there. Good job, good catch. Make sure I don't go through that 2700. Give yourself a little more power since you're leveling off. Yeah. You're there. Now one thing we would do prior to doing any of this, usually as a, yeah. as a crew, is we'd get your configurations down before we ever entered the like hitting the, the, the approaches, right? So we'd know right. that flying straight and level, we'd have a certain configuration, certain power settings, certain flaps, blah, blah, blah. So we don't have that right now, so we're just kind of shooting from the hip, if you will. But you're doing a good job. All right, just Our watch your um, lateral zone. track. Turn left a little bit more. Vertical check. There you go. There we go. Now you're Let's past Joel Mu, there you go. That should be 2400 now. 2500 at uh, Hicksack, Hicksack. Yeah, Hicksack is a, an Hicksack. interesting intersection. It happens real quick. Yeah, it was real quick. I was like, oh, hey, we're almost there. So I feel like we don't want to build up too much speed here. I feel like maybe 100 is probably good, more than. Yeah, and you actually may want to level off just briefly because we're reaching that final approach fix and add one notch of flaps. I feel like in a 172 that gets you really controlled. Nice, slow, controlled descent. Yep. So you should be looking for about 350 feet vertical speed. Um, I would guess your power, your power is probably good right there for now. It might end up being 2,000. We'll see. And at this point, I'm really looking at my vertical glide slope here. Good. As well. Just trying to maintain. That line I like here. this power setting. Uh, you can do that to your missed approach altitude at Plick, which I think is 4,000. Because now you're on the vertical, right. the vertical track, right? Okay. Yep. So I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to allow you to get your scan. Uh, definitely watch your lateral scan. Yeah and keep all heading changes within that uh, magenta arrow at the top of your HSI. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So really fine tune it, don't get outside there. And I'll shut up now. No, no, I mean, it's just, it, it just requires a lot of focus and to not, does. not get lazy with it anywhere. Yep. You, you have to. So get back within that pink arrow. Yeah. Vertical check. There go. Lock it in. All right, there. Sync up your heading bug. There you go. That can be an indicator too. Yeah, I actually think that's a little more helpful. Really good job on vertical track. I'll trim away just a little bit of that control pressure. Just pushing forward on the yoke a lot. What's cool is the G1000 is telling you on your vertical speed, the magenta, where you need to be for your descent rate. You see that? Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, this is looking real nice. Good correction. Good. This is where those nice flight, uh, virtual flight, flight controls come into play because you're just doing really fine tuning like yeah. in the real plane, fingertip flying. Yeah, I think what I really like about it is it, it just feels totally normal. Yep. Like it, it's just not much, the, the rudder is stiff like it, it is in the plane and it just, yep. it feels very true 
Obviously the throttle's very much like that, so going between the two is really quite simple and nice. Make a slight rudder adjustment here. Yep. So everyone has a tendency to go right or left with the bumps they do on the yoke. It seems to me so far you have a tendency to go to the right. That's where I've seen you nudge it the most. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. We're doing That's good. good to know. I really wish I had a laser pointer. It'd be great. Yeah. All right, keep your wings level. Three mile final runway two two. There you go. Okay. Thank you. And, and come back over to that uh, CDI. Ah, uh, come back over to the CDI. Yeah. So you're just gonna trend over into it. So uh, go left again. Get uh, get your white pointer on your HSI to the left of your pink arrow. Just barely, right there. Yeah. That's enough. Roll yeah. wings level. And then let that CDI come in perfect on your HSI. And once that does, line up your arrows. Yep, I'm ready now. Perfect. Alright, now turn now back to the right. To, yep, turn back yep. to the right a little bit. And of course, because it's it emulates an ILS, it's going to get real sensitive down in here. So you're just gonna have little nudges back and forth. Come your minimums. You can see that blue marker on the 500. altitude tape. Yeah. Back up just a little bit. There we go. All right, I can see the runway in sight. Okay. So Here I'm comes going. your minimums call. Minimums. Minimums. And continue. Yep, continue. So you can see runway markings. Yep. And I see the lights. That's happy. Yep. So you've identified some things that continue the approach there. Looks perfect. Yeah. It's not in visual really at this point. Yep, absolutely. Yep, it's not totally visual at this point. Okay, so we're full flaps. This thing actually lands very realistically too. Come down the runway. I hate landing some simulators, but this one actually feels realistic. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's a lot. It's a lot right. of focus. A lot so of focus let's uh, to... let's pause the simulator.